but I feel like oh. he was also embarrassed as well. Maybe, by but it was a shame. <laughs> Do you know, I really liked... I really found Ultimate Big Brother and seeing Chantal and Preston connect again really gripping. Yeah. Because I felt like they still had something there. Because they tried to put them into kind of shitster, basically, didn't they? And there was never to shitster because they'd obviously been through something together and yeah. had a close bond because but of it. And I also felt like being back in the environment made them a little bit nostalgic of it. And yeah. like, actually, they were drawn back together. Yeah. Spoiler. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um at least we didn't have to see George Galloway being the cat. Not yet. That is still to come. Still to this will come. be next week. This fucking helicopter is really upsetting Sorry, me. Sorry, it's atmospheric. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find them there. Not social distancing. It's a good job that we are. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's obviously on the run. Yeah, definitely. Someone's going to come and leap over the fence in a minute. <laughs> um, okay, that was it for that episode. So what was next? Uh, next came Big Brother 7. So we, we might have to move inside if it's going to carry on. I know. This is For fuck's sake, you're ruining our podcast. Shut up. Outside contact. Wait, they've got a banner. It's <laughs> a Nick's showing name. Hi, <laughs> down. We're trying to do a podcast. <laughs> Should we just go in what, until it goes? I feel like it's going to go any minute. But yeah, let's... Should we take a... Oh, should we have a pause? Yeah, let's take a okay, break. we'll take and a we'll break. we'll come back when the helicopter's done its business. The heli- helicopter. That's <laughs> 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 We need to talk about this scene. This is the scene of Dalton, isn't it? Oh, it's iconic. It's iconic. <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's just play Chantel out. Not Chantel, actually, the backing track. Also, the helicopter's um, faked The helicopter's out. gone. Thank you. Um, there was a tweet from an account which is called Pop Music Activism. Did you see this? Oh, I, saw, I did see it. Yeah. I've not heard of them, but so I saw the tweet. Their purpose is that they get record labels to put music from yesteryear online. So if it's not on Spotify, they oh, campaign for it. I mean, that's cool. Oh, I want to follow them, actually. These are the 2020 campaign issues <laughs> yeah. that we didn't know existed. <laughs> they really um, matter. <laughs> really matter. Um, they said, yes, we've just emailed Channel 4 asking them if they can get the Big Brother theme. Good, because that doesn't exist on Spotify. <laughs> and Candy for us, I want it all on Spotify, mm-hmm. etc. Obviously, there isn't a studio version with Chantel. And audio from the TV <laughs> and audio from the TV clip is unusable. Mm. But there would have been a version recorded for her to listen to in the diary room. And it's this we've asked for. Oh, but then whose vocal is that going to have on it? Some sort of session singer or something no they need to get Chantel to come in and do the vocal <laughs> yeah <on that>. but <laughs> the, the vocal on the track where she's singing with the microphone that's the same that, that is the vocal isn't Ooh. it like you can barely hear her yeah oh yeah that's a good point yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good point I really always thought they Jesus now there's a bird acting on <laughs> the trick I thought they missed the trick by not making that single didn't you Channel yeah. 4 if they'd have like got Chantel to record it it's it would have gone straight to number 1 mm. no doubt I don't know why they didn't do that yeah, it was quite funny actually seeing people's faces when she was singing, just like <laughs> Jodie Marshall willing her along. And yeah, then, uh, I was interested in what Ryland said actually mm. after that that um, she and Jodie Marshall and Chantel from the same part of Essex. Is oh yeah, Brentwood. So, Brentwood. So and she would have known. Yeah, she would have known yeah. who Chantel was, which yeah, was interesting. That was interesting. <laughs> Essex I like is like Jody a little Mar- Hollywood, isn't it? I like sort of. <laughs> I like Jodie Marshall and Chantel's friendship on that show. It's a shame that that didn't continue. But then I can imagine Jodie Marshall would be quite high maintenance to be friends with. Probably she wasn't <laughs> actually as awful as you would have expected her to be, was she? In I, the house. What? I love Jodie Marshall. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Jodie Marshall's brilliant. I used to read her blog. <laughs> Honestly, it was very, very entertaining. Didn't she then turn to like, um, she went like mad on bodybuilding, didn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. After a while. And she went, to, she was After a lesbian for a while. <laughs> she just has these little fads and then she just gets like over it. Like those belts for, yeah. for a top. <laughs> yeah, what was Jodie Marsh famous for? We, we missed her speech, didn't we? They just, Marcus just yeah, glossed over it. Yeah, they just it. cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> So then the next episode, because we can't drag on, drag on. Oh, yeah, BB7, who there. is she? Uh, yeah. Is this the best episode of Big Brother 7? Um, well, no. You know we it's not. Because we prefer Ashleen, yeah. Ashleen in the secret house. Ashleen going to the house oh, next door. That's beautiful. Big Brother magic. That was. That little dress she was wearing. She oh, looks so good. She. It was like a fairy tale. That was, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was 
the second time we'd seen a fake eviction like that, mm. right? Ever. Was it? After, oh, after, after Michelle. Uh, yeah, after Michelle and Emma, I think. Someone probably correct also, me and be like, oh, don't Icon- forget Emma. Iconic. Oh, that's so <laughs> iconic. Emma, this with, stuff their, actually is Emma with their tits up. <laughs> um, yeah, I would have liked that episode, but because of who is she becoming such a phenomenon, yeah. you almost can't avoid showing it. Yeah. It's a shame. But, again, if they'd done the highlights, it would have cut that part out. Mm. And we could have had Nikki coming back in and being reunited with Pete, which I really enjoyed. Oh, that's enjoyed. a nice bit, too. Everyone bitching, oh, I, f- I paid money to vote her out. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You voted out the most entertaining person yeah. in the house. Well done, yeah. you're an idiot. That's why Big Brother has to take control. That's why Ted has to get involved. So, behave. I want my 50p back. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Cause such a problem. Oh, people are just so uh, such rule bookers. People don't want good TV, no, do they? You people want good don't. TV? And sorry, people don't know good TV when they see it. And we will come to Big Brother Australia. Yeah, we do about know good how TV. to make good TV, and you don't yeah, need that. Yeah, but are live... people happy about it? Some people not. Oh fuck that! You don't need that live audience. You don't need people voting. You just you need Ted. You don't even need mingling. live feed. Sorry, I've said yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> <All> right, Jamie. <laughs> just read this tweet. Yeah, didn't instead. he say you don't want live feed? Yeah. Didn't he say that? Oh, he was right rude about it. Awesome. He's still tweeting about Big Brother, I see. Is he? Yeah. Well, what else has he got? Mm, fuck all. He tried to fucking <laughs> sell his, like, shift, a sort of, what is it, a bit on the side? Is that what he used to do? Yeah, like oh, a, yeah. a dressing gown that had, like, Big Brother logo on it from a bit on the side oh, that he yeah. wore once on Twitter. Oh, yeah. No I'm takers, like, I don't no think. No takers! <laughs> oh, that is bad. So, anything else about the who, Nikki, obviously. Do you know, it was quite... So, I thought like Nikki's become... Nikki... In Big Brother Seven, has become like a caricature, mm. hasn't she? And I, I, yeah, <laughs> I no doubt believe that is actually Nikki because mm. we've seen Nikki many times in Big Brother, mm. and she's always that like that. But like, she's become she's become that line. She's Apparently. become who is she? Yeah. And seeing her come back on Zoom and like redo mm. the line, mm. like even she can't do the line like she did then. It's no. like just become this thing. Yeah. Which is like, it's too much. So that when you look back and you see like Nikki living in the house, you kind of forget like, oh god, she was actually a little brat. Oh, uh, she was horrible. Grace was like <laughs> so horrible yeah. to Susie. Oh, Grace was good though. Whew, I hated her at the time. Looking back, I was like, that is gold. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant. Even Marcus said that he was outside the house trying to mm. get get Grace out. Mm. And we haven't got to that se- season on Blast in the past yet, have we? Of but like, Grace. I was also there that that night yeah. chanting get Grace out, and I actually quite liked her. I don't know why I quite liked her, especially when she threw that water in Susie's face. That was so good. Nor are you, you moose. <laughs> um, but then I'm wondering, did I actually like Nikki more than Grace? Like, I was there for that eviction night. I was mm. not particularly wanting Grace to go in my memory. What? I never just run up back to you. Oh. Do you need? I just need to swap. Just swap me. phones, swap devices. Yeah, sorry. I have, I'm not very yeah, so, prepared at all. Go well, hu- hurry along. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Marcus was saying that he was outside the house trying in, and he was surprised as well because I think he liked Grace. But what was weird and quite scary being in that atmosphere was like how you just get caught up in it, and it's like a mob mentality of the idiot general public. Well, hear me? I, was, I was like that when we were at the final doing poor old Cameron. You know I was a big fan of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how you just get behind it. It's just fun, isn't it? It's to do whipped when you're up there. in it. And also, that was the first time really that the house had ever like heard the audience in that way and knowing that they wait, get grossed up, that wasn't that that wasn't that eviction. That was when Susie went in. Oh. Do you remember? They were in the garden. Oh, yeah, because she'd heard it because she was worried about the people out there. That was one of the best things about Big Brother, when people shit themselves when they heard themselves getting booed. It was just fucking brilliant. Exactly. And I had a, <laughs> did you see my back and forth with this person who's obviously a Big Brother USA fan? No. Primarily, the other, the other day, um, talking about how public vote ruins Big Brother. And I was like, <laughs> I, I was really struggling because I, this person would never understand... Like, unless you've lived through yeah. that series, a series of Big Brother at its height like that, you don't understand the impact of the public vote and public perception and what it can mean to them. That's the, the jeopardy of Big Brother for me. This is the thing. Yeah. This is the thing. And this is, in a nutshell, what all Big Brother people are talking about at the yeah. moment. With Big Brother <laughs> Australia and everything. Which is better? Which is the best? The format? BBUS, Canada, Australia, UK, blah, 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 blah. The fact is, it don't matter what the format is. Or it don't matter what mm-hmm. anything is. 
all that matters to me Your is house housemates. Are good. But mm. it's not quite true. I've decided. I'm, I'm extending on this point now. Okay. It's not quite true. Mm. All that matters is either the housemates or the format. I've decided because okay. Big Brother Australia has some shit housemates. All the housemates are shit apart from Angela. Yeah. But the format is so exciting. <laughs> the is so the good. whole a whole Big Brother every episode, every, a week's of Big Brother every episode, just like Julie Chen promises. Um, and it's an entertaining show, even though. It, even though mm. the housemates are mostly shit. Mm. So I think you've either got to have a good format or you've got to go have good housemates. Yeah. But the, you can't... Bah, people are so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> they're so bah. annoying. Like, oh, BB UK is best. BB US is best. They're both good in their own way. They're separate. For, it's like when people go, oh, the sequel. Oh, well, it wasn't... Well, just take it as a separate thing and it, yeah. you don't worry about it so much. <laughs> it's a different thing. It's Big Brother. Yeah. It has the same sort of thing, secret task. This yeah. person, big brother, sometimes talking to you, sometimes not. Yeah. Has elements of it. Strategy, maybe. Game planning, certainly. But, <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Just relax. Stop Taron. Stop getting so airy. I was listening to oh, Taron's Big Brother Australia podcast. He's on, he was slagging off Big Brother Australia. So Can we talk about it in, in the Australia segment? Yeah, I want you to tell me more. Of course he was. Um, <laughs> anyway. And this is the thing. People who are very sort of like into the US format, if they've only... I love if the US format. If they've grown up watching that format of course they're going to be I don't get it they're going to be more affectionate to that format for me the UK format and a public vote is the one however Australia is turning my head I'm like you know that meme with the the guy looking at the other girl (laughs) walking by the girl whose hand I'm holding is BBUK and that's Australia walking by and I'm like oh because they're doing it good when me and Jack were watching Big Brother Australia he said this is the best Big Brother I've ever seen (laughs) (laughs) and I made him watch it every single one I kind of agree with I was not, just like whoa not, not fully cool. with those sentiments but I can, no. get on, I can say it's the best big brother I've seen in a while because he goes to me whenever watching it he goes to me oh are we going to are we going to see the, the, the oh, there is no video is there it's like no. are we going to see who's nominated are we gonna, I was like yeah we see everything it's like oh cool we get to see everything there's no oh and we'll finish this HOH competition Tomorrow. next episode yeah. or there's even so, in a few like, days time they give you everything all at once and you're <laughs> going to enjoy it whether you like it or not <laughs> <laughs> so let's wrap up with um Anything else to say about Nikki? Just to say, if you're body shaming Nikki, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, some people were so inconsiderate. Did any of those people reply? Someone replied. One per- so mm-hmm. some people were taking the piss out of Nikki, and like I was upset because it's well known that Nikki's got an eating disorder, and it's, even if you didn't know, you could tell from looking at it's her. It's one thing to say something about how she looks in a random tweet that goes into the air to your own followers, mm. but in one that she's tagged in, I don't think you should even do that. Hashtag well, no, be kind. Well, me neither, really, but like. It was worse for me in the fact that we're responding to a, a, a tweet from E4 where Nikki was tagged was worse for me because Nikki will disgusting. get the notifications. And then I'm I probably... called those people out and one person goes, oh, I apologise. I said, well, don't apologise to me. Apologise oh, to Nikki. Yeah. And that person went, oh, can someone put me in touch with her? If you don't know... <laughs> put me in touch with her. If you, if you don't know how to fucking... Yeah, we'll just go like, through fucking... If you can't use Twitter, like, I'm here to help you. Put me do you in know touch what I mean? with her. Yeah, here's her agent's details. <laughs> oh. I wonder if she's still got an agent. <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> she was on Big Brother Canada, wasn't she? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. If you love Nikki and you never watched Big Canada. Brother Canada, watch Big Brother Canada five four. and be in for four. a fucking treat. Is it four? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it's I've been saying four. Big Brother Canada five all week. Five's when Nikki uh, Ica mu- came back. What a fucking mug I am. <laughs> no wonder people think I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was tweeting about Big Brother Canada. This is giving me Big Brother Canada five flashback. <laughs> no wonder no one liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was saying to us, uh, what would your favourite episodes be? And I thought, oh God, that requires too much thinking. Yeah, but... I don't... Fight Night is obviously one. Yeah, Fight Night is one. Yeah. Um, actually, do you know what? I'd rather see the night that Emma and Michelle went into the bed sit on oh, Fight Night. Because yeah. that was... Yeah. It's just those moments. Like, yeah. Ashley finding out she's not being evicted. Yeah. Emma and Michelle finding out. Yeah. Because... Just it's so it's hilarious with Emma's boobs coming out. Yeah. And she doesn't even realise. <laughs> she's like, "Oh, chicken, your boobs, <laughs> your tits are coming out." <laughs> it's when those things get turned on their head when you think things are going one way and then they go yeah. completely another way. It's like, "Ooh, do you know?" Um, I'm really sad because I don't think we're going to see any Big Brother two, but like. Um, the dance task where Bubble flipped over the chair. Mm. Like, and I think that dance task was really fun. I'll never forget Brian going, Bubble, hold me, and Bubble being really uncomfortable <laughs> about dancing with Brian. Um, yeah, I don't know. Big Brother 3. I want that old school Big Brother. It's, I know. Hard, it's hard to think, isn't it? Just off the top of your head. Yeah. I'd um, have to go through it. There's there's many, many magical moments. And you said, yeah, Jackie's not a great episode. Oh, uh, 
Even Jack disagreed with me on that. He's like, that is iconic. Admittedly, <laughs> 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 that is iconic, but it just... But it's, it's a great episode. The thing I just is, don't see what all the fuss was about. Like, I get it's it, It's also yeah. a split second in an episode. Yeah. Whereas what's more interesting is probably what comes next, which is yeah. Jackie thinking that she's going to be waited on and yeah. John McCruitt getting pissed <laughs> off with her. Like, that's probably better TV. Yeah. I don't know. I just never got... I was just one of those things I just never quite got. But I realise I'm in the minority on that one, and that's fine. I really like the life punishment of Preston and... 